Hello, this is WSC WSC, and welcome to an overview of my custom scriptless tank AI. In the comments of the last video, I said I would make a full overview of the tank AI and release a blueprint of it. The link for the blueprint and the workshop page will be in the description. As well, I'm not going to go too in-depth of how each timer and each sensor works because that would take too long, but if you're curious about that info, I should have it in the description and it will be on the workshop page. So time for the basic AI breakdown. Okay, for the basic AI breakdown of this vehicle, if the turret sees a target, it will move forward, and if there is no target, it will sit still. If, there, if the turret is turned enough to the left, the vehicle will turn left. And if the turret is turned enough to the right, the vehicle will turn right. And if the vehicle is not turned enough to the left or right, it will reset the turn of any of the wheels. So basically what that is, is there is sensors on either side of this vehicle in the armor a bit to where, as you can see, if the turret were to turn a bit, then that sensor would activate and tell the wheels to turn in a way to get the turret to be even with the body of the vehicle. So it goes straight at a target. And as well, whenever the, ser the sensors do not sense anything there, uh, they execute a command to get rid of all of the steering override on the wheels. And as well, if the vehicle is too close to an object, it will stop. But if it is a player, the tank will not stop and it will run the player over. So now, time for the vehicle basics and a few other things about it. All right, for just some basic facts about the vehicle, to start with, just a very, very important reminder is that for this tank to work correctly, you have to change the ownership of this tank sight LCD here and the assault gun to a friendly, NPC or player in the same faction and as well for this thing to properly sit still and to brake properly it has to have the parking brake on whenever it is put in place but besides that let's get on to the facts about this thing so the tank AI uses six timers three sensors and one custom turret block to do everything and because of how the AI works, if a target is very far away, moving very fast, or moving very erratically, the vehicle will sit still, making it more accurate. And this also means it is good enough to where it can shoot down flying vehicles. And for the power of this tank, it has six small reactors, which charge one larger small grid battery and 19 small grid small batteries. As well, the turret has uh, 1,250 liters of storage for ammo, which equates to, if you maximize the storage for a specific type, 40 assault gun shells or 50 autocannon magazines. And as well, it can always take three in the assault gun itself and three in the autocannon. But what I prefer to do is usually put... 32 assault cannon shells in the storage and of course the three in the gun itself and then 10 auto cannon magazines in the storage and then the three in the gun itself because then you get a pretty good balance of both weapons to where they won't run out of ammo for a good amount of time as well this tank is also made to look no different from a player controlled one so someone could pilot one without the enemy instantly knowing which ones are being driven by players and this is just so, you know, let's say you're going after something with like uh, four AI ones and a player controlled one for yourself. You can use that player controlled one to take out enemy turrets and all that while the AI ones charge in to destroy everything else. Uh, just so like the enemy doesn't instantly know that, you know, that one's a player. It must die first because it is the biggest threat to me. And for reference... This is the AI one, and this is a player-controlled one. As you can see here, 
the player controlled one if you look in right there you can get in the cockpit and control it but for the AI one it has that same little thing but it's blocked up by heavy armor so it's harder to destroy so in my opinion it makes it pretty hard to tell apart as well the AI is made to be easy to modify and easy to make other vehicles be able to use it and for example for that I have created this sniper tank here which what it will do is it has a rotating cycle where it will move forward and then stop and just kind of to patrol around and as well whenever this tank sees an enemy it will sit still but if it doesn't see the enemy then it will just continue that cycle of moving forward and stopping every so often so it can be used as a good scout or just as a sniper tank and as well you can put this in completely different vehicles and it work to a decent degree which this here is a fully automatic exploding truck that will chase down other vehicles and will go after bases and it do generally does way too good of a job in all honesty but as well this truck is where uh, it gets to the point where you're almost pushing the AI to its limits because this truck whenever it speeds up to be really fast if it hits uh, enough of a bump it'll just flip up in the air and go all over the place because with these vehicles they cannot have gyros on them or else they can't steer properly because they use the wheels so that means you know if you have a really fast one of these vehicles that means if it flips there's nothing to really stop it so yeah to say the least fast moving vehicles with this AI are not perfect but they do work so now time to go over how to use one of these in combat all right for how to use this thing in combat the tank excels at fighting defensively so it is great to use for guarding bases so you could set them up in areas and then just leave them there as long as if they have fuel or a good amount of charge and ammo and they will just sit there indefinitely until an enemy comes and to set the vehicle to guard an area you turn on the antenna and then use the remote control or you can put a cockpit or something on the back to drive it to where you want and once you have it in the desired location turn on the parking brake and make sure you turn off the antenna or get rid of the cockpit and all that and as well this tank can be used for offensive fighting against other vehicles but it is not that great at assaulting bases because it doesn't have any collision avoidance and because it's kind of predictable how it's going to move which is makes it a bit weak against uh, large grid turrets so yeah it does a darn good job at attacking bases but you could easily you know just use something like that sniper tank over there and it would do a way better job than the traditional tank and as well here this is this is an example of what you could do for a cockpit on the back to move it around where you want and as you can see you just get in it and hit the parking brake move it to wherever you want and once you have it where you want you just switch on the parking brake and then get rid of the cockpit and there you go it is ready to go to defend any area you need it to and now for the closing thoughts of the tank AI so as you can obviously see from this video the tank AI is very simple and it works so as well because of its scriptless nature it can be used on almost any server with scripts off and it doesn't need remote control the only reason you would want to have a remote control is just to move it around or if you wanted to have them patrol around but you would have to do a bunch of setup to get that to work properly as well and for the most part these tanks really don't have an effective counter the only like major flaws with them is they're a bit dumb because the custom turret 
like you've probably seen in the previous video, they cannot shoot something past 400 meters because of the bullet drop. And as well, you know, they're going to go straight at the target, so not the smartest thing in the world. And as well, they, for the time being, do not have any good collision avoidance. So they do have some flaws, but for the most part, they are very devastating in combat and because of this vehicle's nature it is easy to make a lot of them if you've got a good amount of resources and even if you don't have the biggest amount of resources like you're not a big faction on the said server or something you could easily make one of these things and leave it at your base and mind you it's not going to stop a full-on invasion of your base if you're away it's going to deter most attackers because whenever they get shot at by it, or shot down by it, or chase af chased after by it, they usually won't attack after that, and they'll learn their lesson. So for, the, for that example, it does its job perfectly. And as well, you would think, you know, that this thing could never pursue enemy vehicles. Well, weirdly enough, it can, because... How it is always going after a vehicle, it is taking the most efficient way possible, and it is never slowing down because of how it is made to turn and everything. So because of that, it can easily catch up to a vehicle that only has a max speed limit of like 50 meters per second, because, of course, when you're running away from one of these, you're going to have to do all kinds of crazy maneuvers so it doesn't hit you. And doing those crazy maneuvers is going to slow you down just enough and make your movement erratic just enough to where it can catch up. And because of that, it's quite hard to escape. And as well, another thing too you may have noticed with the sensors here, there's nothing here to make it go backwards. Which, in most of my testing, the backwards, like going backwards, isn't really necessary. Mind you, yes, it is set up to go backwards on the tank. I just don't have it activated and I don't have the sensor fully set up just because it's not worth it. Because why would you need to go backwards when you're probably not going to get behind it in the first place because of how it works? Because it always faces straight at its target. So, you know, no real point in it. But, you know, if, for instance, you wanted these things to have full uh, range of motion to where they will back up if something is directly behind them, you could easily add that because there's already a timer set up on this thing to be able to do that. And as well, all you would have to do is probably tweak the timer a bit to get it to work properly because I think there were some issues with that and get the sensor to work properly as well. And also, there's... Uh, Besides the backup command timer, there's also another timer on it that is not being used, so it doesn't take much modification of the original vehicle if you want to add, per se, to make it patrol around, and whenever it spots an enemy, it also uh, cycles through a command that turns on and off the autopilot, so it will stop patrolling and pursue the enemy instead, and whenever the enemy's gone, it'll go back to patrolling and all of that. So, yeah, it, just in general, it is a great AI tank, and all of the info of the exact ways the sensors work and all of that will be up on the workshop page, and they should be in the description, just as long as if, you know, the description of the timers and sensors doesn't take up the full... Uh, maximum length of the YouTube description, which shouldn't happen, but it may, so I'm just saying this now. But that's just about it for this pretty simple overview of what is a simple but extremely effective tank AI. So I guess I'll call it quits for now. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.